we got a boost gauge hooked up from P3. I wanted to get that done. That way we can read our boost as we do our, not my first drive, but your first drive with me and our first wide open throttle pulls in our Mach 1 that is now ESS supercharged. 735 horsepower. Click the card above and check out the dyno footage. It might blow your mind because it did ours. This is a high demand video, guys. This is a new supercharger kit from ESS and I'm loving every single bit of it so far. So I've had it in the car for about a week and a half, but we haven't really been able to film a whole lot due to weather but now and it's still kind of chilly so we're going to see what we can do as far as grip and wide open throttle pulls but we're going to give it a junior varsity try at least i guess so but first i got to give a huge shout out to odelphi they sent me a couple of these headlamps guys and these things are freaking cool man really helped me out to get under the dash and you know have my hands free and then have something like this it's just an led light strip so check this out so super bright it's got different modes adjustability and you have more of like a directional light here as well too but this one's really cool because we click this other button right here and check this out so with the wave of a hand comes on and off really cool to have something like this as you transition from under the car or in a tight area that's kind of dark into the light and back and forth and back and forth you just wave your hand and operate it just like this if you are interested in stuff like this it's very cheap very cost effective check out the links below to pick up one of these i'm gonna use the crap out of this i really appreciate odelphi oh, sending out two of these just in case we hurt one we have another but it's got a uh, really grippy like rubbery material this is kind of a soft led right here so if you don't have to worry about it breaking you can bend it twist it do all that and it's rechargeable so it comes with a usb-c cord and you can recharge them so no buying batteries anymore links in description to pick up one of these and i think that you'll be highly impressed again go check out links below but let's dive into the video let's go let's get started I'm gonna let this car warm up so we can go wide open throttle and you guys can experience what this new supercharger is going to bring to your mustang and especially this one because it's a mach 1 a lot of questions from a lot of comments over the past couple of videos how does this operate where does the where does this start to build power and boost we're going to answer all those things so i'm gonna try to in this video so if it's lengthy i apologize but i'm going to try to get everybody's questions answered uh as best i can so let me put this thing into we got it in my boat i'm going to put it into quiet exhaust that way we can have a conversation. I installed this P3 gauge into our dash and I'm a big fan, honestly. So we still have functionality of the air control vent and the AC and all that. And they also turn, they are directional. Click on the card above if you wanna see like all the features, but it plugs into the OBD2 port and it reads a whole bunch of data from the car but i've got it on the boost setting right now so as we look at the dash we're hovering around 19 and then we got over here about the same coming into the line for the blow off valve so that way we're getting an accurate vacuum and boost reading on our p3 gauge i really like the way that it looks inside of the dash but let's get on the road Every time I shift back to neutral, a different gear, you hear that because it's a centrifugal blower and you get all those whooshy noises. I really like the setup, man. So the power comes on, you know, towards the second half of your RPM band. It is a centrifugal blower. It's a very linear pull, but you still get a lot of torque down low, which is pretty surprising. I didn't think that we we're going to feel really anything until way up top. But as I've read and now experienced, the ESS kit has a pretty big mid-range punch. So maybe a little bit different than some of the other brands out there. But this one... I have really nothing negative to say about it. I don't know if you can hear those noises on camera, but visit the links down below. Let ESS know, let Brevin know that I sent you and he's been hooking everybody up that's contacting him so far that has seen, you know, about video content or surrounding the ESS kit. is that what I'm seeing is that around 
3,500 RPM, maybe 4,000, somewhere in that ballpark is when I feel boost really start to take off. This is a G3 kit. It's got the 120 millimeter pulley on it. So let's give it just over 700 horsepower. Lots of noises. Lots of grip. Not boost yet. And now we are. website for the gen 3 coyote rates the 120 millimeter pulley is the safest one to go with before you go fuel system e85 so 193 pump gas and i still have cats on the car stock headers by the way and uh, it's rated around 7,000 rpm to bring about seven and a half pounds of the boost but with uh this center well i guess any centrifugal unit but this one specifically uh, as you go above 7,000 rpm you still continue to gain boost Okay, that's why we hooked up the boost gauge so that we can monitor that. So far, I've seen about nine pounds or so all the way up to where I'm shifting. So about 77, 7,800 RPM. I've got oil pump gears in this car, so I'm not afraid of you know going over the limit. We're safe. Just keep that in mind that 735 horsepower came from another pound, pound and a half or whatever it is. Let's get turned around. I've been pleasantly surprised how easy it is to live with this car it's going to be a hot topic a hard decision everybody's gonna to have to make what do you where do you want the power at and before you know i had something that brought the power in really early now we're kind of waiting just a little bit and it doesn't feel like turbo lag it doesn't feel like there's nothing there nothing there okay there it is this is just a gradual build so you're still feeling it down low it just starts to really ramp in pretty linear like this okay and i actually kind of enjoy it because just like the car was but a whole lot faster okay so when i'm in the throttle and i'm just i mean guys this is fun it's like a roller coaster and i'm not blowing the tires completely off at 2000 rpm that's something you might want to consider i'm still on a michelin pilot 4s and i'm able to put the power down I, yeah i think it's i think that this is more of a a driver's setup and my miles per gallon my mileage if anybody cares about that has been pretty much the same really not affecting that much all right let's get up here and do another hit let's do it now the pool let's get it let's go down to let's go 4,000 so i'm about 3,800 rpm right now You blow the tires off and you're fighting the car. This this one I like because you're already kind of like getting up to speed and you're getting faster and faster and faster and faster. And to, to me, this is more controllable. To me, this is more fun. I really enjoy it and I, I have nothing bad to say about it. And uh, you know, I'm, I like the power. I like the power down low and we still get some of that. It's just that linear pull. I am kind of new to the centrifugal world. So if this is not news to a lot of you guys out there because you have experience, I don't. This is my first one and I am loving it. Absolutely loving it. And I'm not trying to overhype the company. I'm just talking centrifugal supercharger in general. I kind of really like this feel as a uh, on, on the street, as a street car. This one also is a handling car because it's a Mach 1. Let's get this corner. Lots of confidence. And put the power down. Oh, <laughs> 
I wanted to do on this car was something a little bit different. I've never had this centrifugal supercharger before, and I love it. I don't regret it at all, not one bit. For the G2 or the G3 kit, it weighs like 42 or 44 pounds installed. It's nuts. It's super light, and you get all this extra power. So we're still on 93 pump gas, guys, and I'm having a freaking blast. I don't know if I want to touch the car anymore. Like, this is plenty of power for this. I've still got lots of balance with the handling being a Mach 1. And um, I don't really know that I want to go super crazy with it. I think the max that I'd ever really want out of this car is maybe 850. But uh, we'll have to have a fuel system in the 85 to, to do that, you know. So, but as far as what we have right now, we might get to like 750 with headers, which I think would be perfect, honestly. But then we're going into like, do we need a new clutch territory? And eventually, yes. But what's kind of cool on that note is with the manual transmission is I think that this setup, the way that we have the car right now, this clutch will probably last quite a while if we're not beating the crap out of it every single time that we're in the car which i'm not which is also the glory of the kit we're not always always beating up the transmission beating up the, the car uh, with all that shock down low that you get with some of the other systems this is that linear power pull and i really really enjoy it i really enjoy it so this supercharger system the ess is a hot topic right now all over mustang 60 there's a lot of interest and not only the mach 1 but this supercharger and i i have nothing nothing negative to say about it at all i love the power band i love the way that makes the car feel and we're still composed there's not a lot of front end weight on the car so we're not nose heavy the car still feels really light and nimble you know we don't have another 100 pounds sitting over the nose of the car sounds good gives you that, some of that chirp noise with the loud cut gears now like i said if you go with the standard gear you won't hear it you might hear some of the whine but you won't hear some of the chirp easy easy kit to install one of the things I really, really like when we installed it was we have all this room down here to make belt changes uh, easy to get to. Now all your bracketry and everything is it's minimal in design. It's all made of like billet components and stuff like that. And all your pipe down here, down here, here, coming through here and under here, it's all this four ply silicone. So it makes the entire kit really lightweight. This is like the heaviest thing in the kit is this head unit right here and it's honestly like half the weight of like a vortex or a pro charger super lightweight so that's the video hopefully you enjoyed it if you have any further questions about this the car itself or the supercharger system or anything in general just comment down below and uh, we'll see if we can try to answer that in the next video or so i really enjoy the kit i really enjoy the car it's coming together this is just a start as always you know just a little bit of power 735 i don't want to go too crazy with this car but uh, i still want to maintain the balance and everything we got some other things that are going to be delivered today in the mail that i think they're going to really spice up this car i don't want you to miss so make sure you're subscribed but i'll see you guys in the next video take care have a great day god bless all of you and i'll see you guys later bye